Carl Lewis, the legendary sprinter with nine Olympic gold medals, was once the fastest man on the planet. But behind his victories lies a dark truth that has haunted him for decades. What shocking revelation about his past could change the way you see this iconic athlete forever? The 1988 Olympics in Seoul was one of the most highly anticipated events in sports history, primarily due to the intense rivalry between Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson. At that time, Carl Lewis was already a well-established athlete, with multiple gold medals to his name, while Ben Johnson had emerged as a formidable competitor, seemingly out of nowhere. Their rivalry, especially in the 100 meters, was electrifying, drawing global attention not just because of their athletic prowess, but also due to the underlying tension between them. Tale of two emotions. One emotion was, this is Ben is dirty, it's ridiculous. Carl Lewis was fully aware that Ben Johnson was not competing clean. He had long suspected that Johnson was using performance-enhancing drugs, a belief that was shared by many within the athletics community. Yet, despite his strong convictions about Johnson's dirty tactics, Lewis couldn't deny the buzz and excitement their rivalry brought to the sport. On one hand, he was deeply frustrated by the lack of action against doping, feeling that it was tarnishing the integrity of track and field. On the other hand, he recognized that the showdown between him and Johnson was the biggest story of the 1988 Olympics, which could potentially elevate the sport's profile and attract massive attention. This duality in emotions, resentment towards the unfairness, yet acknowledgement of the spectacle, created an inner conflict for Lewis making the lead-up to the race a complex mix of anticipation, anger, and hope. As the day of the 100M race approached, Carl Lewis found himself grappling with a whirlwind of emotions. The pressure was immense, not just because of the expectations placed on him as a world-class athlete, but also because of the personal promise he had made to his late father. Despite the confidence his coach exuded, telling him that he could beat Johnson if he focused on his own race. Lewis couldn't shake off the uncertainty that clouded his mind. He later described this race as the most uncertain one he had ever run, a sentiment that encapsulates the immense emotional turmoil he was experiencing. When the race finally took place, Ben Johnson crossed the finish line first, leaving Carl Lewis to wrestle with feelings of disappointment and betrayal. It wasn't just that he had lost, it was the knowledge that he had lost to someone who he knew was cheating. The subsequent revelation that Johnson had tested positive for steroids only added to the complexity of Lewis's emotions. While he was eventually awarded the gold medal, the victory felt hollow. It was a bittersweet moment, one where the triumph of winning was overshadowed by the dark truth of the doping scandal that had marred the event. After the race, Carl Lewis did something that surprised many. He approached Ben Johnson to shake his hand. For anyone watching, it might have seemed like a simple act of sportsmanship, but for Lewis, it was far more complicated. In the seconds after crossing the finish line, Lewis felt an overwhelming sense of disappointment, particularly because he felt he had let his father down. However, he quickly gathered himself, realizing that his father, had he been alive, would have expected him to show grace in defeat, even under such difficult circumstances. When Lewis reached out to Johnson, it was clear that Johnson was reluctant to reciprocate. But Lewis, determined to maintain his composure and fulfill this small yet significant gesture of respect, grabbed Johnson's arm and made him complete the handshake. This act was symbolic of Lewis's commitment to upholding the values of sportsmanship even when the situation was far from fair. It was a moment that underscored the personal and ethical challenges Lewis faced throughout his career, particularly in an era when the integrity of the sport was constantly under threat from doping. This handshake wasn't just about acknowledging the race, it was about maintaining dignity in the face of adversity, a principle that Carl Lewis held dear throughout his illustrious career. Win 1.1, that's legal! Carl Lewis has never been shy about expressing his disdain for the use of steroids in track and field. From his perspective, the widespread use of performance-enhancing drugs was a scourge that not only corrupted the integrity of the sport, but also cast a long, dark shadow over the achievements of clean athletes. 
He witnessed firsthand how doping could elevate athletes to a level of performance that was simply unattainable through natural means. And this realization was both infuriating and disheartening. And he's going to be disqualified tomorrow. You're going to get the gold medal. Well, it was like exciting. However, the issue of steroids wasn't just about the unfair advantage it provided to some athletes. The scandal surrounding Ben Johnson in the 1988 Olympics, for example, thrust the issue of doping into the global spotlight, bringing unprecedented attention to the dark side of competitive sports. On one hand, this attention was beneficial, as it forced the world to confront the reality of drug abuse in athletics. It spurred stricter testing protocols and more rigorous enforcement of anti-doping rules. But, on the other hand, it also tainted the reputation of track and field, leading many to question whether any athlete could truly be trusted. The sport, once celebrated for its display of natural human speed and strength, became synonymous with scandal and dishonesty, damaging its credibility for years to come. Carl Lewis's father was a central figure in his life, providing not only guidance and support, but also instilling in him the values of hard work, determination, and integrity. The bond between them was strong, and his father's influence was evident in every aspect of Lewis's career. Losing his father just before the 1988 Olympics was a devastating blow, one that brought immense emotional pain and tested Lewis in ways he had never experienced before. The timing of his father's passing couldn't have been more challenging. As Lewis was preparing for the biggest event of his career, he suddenly found himself grappling with grief and loss. Yet, in the midst of this personal tragedy, he made a promise to himself and to his father. He would win the gold medal in his honor. This promise became a driving force for Lewis, fueling his determination and giving him a renewed sense of purpose. The memory of his father became a source of strength pushing him to overcome the obstacles in his path and focus on achieving his goal. Of the drug issue, which I thought was a good thing because it gave us a unique opportunity. The 100M final at the 1988 Seoul Olympics was one of the most anticipated races in Olympic history. The world watched as Carl Lewis, already an established star, lined up against his fierce rival, Ben Johnson. From the moment the starting gun fired, it was clear that Johnson had an explosive start, surging ahead of the pack with a speed that seemed almost superhuman. Lewis, despite running one of his fastest times ever, couldn't catch up. Johnson crossed the finish line first, setting a new world record of 9.79 seconds. The victory was stunning, but for Lewis, it came with a heavy sense of defeat, not just because he had lost, but because he knew deep down that something wasn't right. Just days after the race, the world learned the truth. Ben Johnson had tested positive for anabolic steroids, specifically stenozolol, and was disqualified. The news sent shockwaves through the sports world, shattering the image of Johnson's victory and thrusting Carl Lewis into the spotlight once more, this time as the rightful gold medalist. For Lewis, the moment was bittersweet. While he had achieved his goal of winning the gold, it wasn't in the way he had hoped. Instead of celebrating a hard-fought victory on the track, he found himself at the center of a doping scandal that would forever change the sport. In the aftermath of the 1988 Olympics, Carl Lewis faced the difficult task of reconciling his victory with the reality of widespread doping in track and field. The joy of winning an Olympic gold medal was overshadowed by the knowledge that his fiercest competitor had cheated. This wasn't just about one race, it was about the integrity of the entire sport. For Lewis, who had always prided himself on competing clean, this revelation was both a validation of his principles and a source of deep frustration. Lewis struggled with mixed feelings. On one hand, he was relieved that justice had been served and that the truth about Ben Johnson had come to light. On the other hand, he was saddened by the fact that the race, which should have been a celebration of athletic excellence, was now tainted by scandal. The victory felt hollow, as if the real competition had been robbed of its meaning by the pervasive use of steroids. Despite these challenges, Carl Lewis decided to focus on the positives. He became an outspoken advocate for clean sport, 
using his platform to push for stronger anti-doping measures and better leadership within the athletics community. He believed that the sport needed to be saved from the brink, and that could only happen if the culture of doping was eradicated. The 1988 scandal had a profound impact on Carl Lewis's career and legacy. While it cemented his status as one of the greatest athletes of all time, it also marked a turning point in the way the world viewed track and field. The sport's reputation was tarnished, and the shadow of doping would linger for years to come. Yet, through it all, Lewis remained steadfast in his commitment to compete with integrity, leaving behind a legacy that was not just about medals, but about standing up for what was right. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.